the smoke break, everyone. Got a little bit different of a setup this time around. Um, running a new camera, so a little bit better audio. We're moving forward with the times here. So I read a headline today, and it said, Stephen Hawking comes out as an atheist. And it really made me think, like, is it really that necessary or newsworthy, I should say, to make like a big headline about that? Because it's Stephen Hawking, one of the premier minds of science of our time. Is it really any sort of mystery as to what he was? Is this really news? I suppose I really don't get why anybody would sort of see otherwise. I mean, I'm, I'm sure even religious people sort of had an inkling that Stephen Hawking might be an atheist. Um, I hate to frame it in the religion versus science sort of way, but I mean, that's really kind of the way it is, isn't it? It's one thing is antithetical to the other. And this goes far beyond how some people just want to frame it because of their own personal beliefs. I'm just saying, like, that's, you know, you cannot look at the evidence for the things going on around us, then instead base your beliefs off of things you've been told because of faith, and then call yourself scientific or scientifically literate or scientifically minded. I should take that back. I guess you can be scientifically literate as in you know the science, but can still choose to ignore it. So I read that headline and I was like, they must be posting this because it's it's got to be news to somebody. Why would that be news to anybody? The man who figured out Hawking radiation, the stuff that comes out of black holes, is like, obviously an atheist. The guy who wrote A Brief History of Time probably doesn't subscribe to creationism. The Adam and Eve story, the story of Genesis. And if you are going to be, uh, if you're going to ignore, rather, probably the most important of the stories, aside from maybe the death of Jesus Christ, you're probably an atheist. I'm nervous looking at this new camera. It's big, and it's staring at me. Which leads me to a bigger point. You cannot pick and choose like that. You know, if you believe in something like the Big Bang, if you believe in the massive amount of evidence for how the universe expanded, you can't, you can't believe that the Earth was then created in six days or that existence, rather, was created in six days. But if you don't believe that, and that's in the Bible, then why, why believe anything from it? Now these are all obvious points that have been rehashed over and over again. But take into consideration that the Bible is a collection of other, of many books, basically, a collection of gospels. And each of those Gospels sort of has a differing account of how things happened, especially around the time of Jesus Christ. And there were some Gospels that aren't even included in the collection that we know as the Bible or the New Testament. Take the Gospel of Thomas, for example. They didn't include that because he was doubting Thomas. But he said a lot of things that would not bode well for the church. And then I heard of one called the Gospel of Barnabas. Now, Barnabas actually says that Jesus was not crucified, according to the internet, so who knows if the sources are correct there, but if it is there, and it's, or rather, if it's true that this exists, I mean, that's, that's a huge sort of problem there for the other Gospels, is it not? So either Barnabas was lying or the four others were wrong, but that's the point. It's all bullshit. We're living in the year 2014. Our society, sort of underneath the uh, outer layer, strives to be like Star Trek. Everybody wants a starship and a phaser and wants to go faster than the speed of light, whether they have any practical use for that or not. So here we are, in that time, using things like this 
mini computers, this is 50 times better than my Windows 98 computer. Faster, faster internet, better processor, everything. And it's this big, and it fits in my pocket, and I can use it to communicate with anybody. We live in a time where things like this exist, where I can speak to you and not be there. <laughs> and you can see me. And yet we're going to live our lives based off of two to three thousand year old documents written by, well actually not even probably written by, but at least it was an oral tradition that was at some point transcribed to paper that all these ideas were from illiterate men from the Middle East who hated women. That's what we're going to base our lives off now in the year 2014. It's no wonder there aren't any starships yet. Spacecrafts don't count as they are today. They're getting there, but they're not there yet. But nothing that you atheists or religious people haven't heard before. This is really just an excuse to test out the new equipment and just BS about something off the cuff. Uh, so, I will catch you all next time. See you later, YouTube.